words on it. <laughs> it has five of my favorite videos on it. <laughs> when was the first printer in the laser jet printer introduced in 1984? How much did it cost? How much did it cost? Forty-nine ninety-five. Up from that, twenty-nine hundred. Up. Thirty-nine. What would you say? Thirty-nine ninety-nine. A little down. <laughs> Thirty-five hundred. That's good. <laughs> where's my Where's my good ticket? Job. Where's my ticket? <laughs> continues to, to grow and the reason why it does is the result of innovation all right innovation over the years has provided more customer choice and simplified the experience from the low end to the high end you definitely get more value and we continue to innovate all of our add our technologies and innovations to all the platforms today and that's what we're going to really see with the jet intelligence but before we go let's jump in here to develop together to deliver excellence. This is all about the printer, and I want to just share something with you. This is pretty amazing. This is the printer. This is the M252 printer. This is one slice of it. So we filled it with epoxy. This is how small they're getting. Color, printer. It's very amazing. And I'm going to actually just pass it around so you guys can touch it and feel it. You can see the inner workings of the printer. And all the different cartridges, which is the most important. Because cartridges and how much of the science in a printing process to get a toner on a page is due to the toner cartridge. Up to how many percent? I got another two tickets to Hawaii. 70. Right on. Oh, I know, that's why I was making sure you had made it. Good job. You're, you're famous now. Okay, let's talk about the cartridges then. We've got eight new cartridges for these printers. So X cartridges and A cartridges. Um, the 508s on the bottom and the tool ones on the top. So let's talk a little bit about the EP process first. The first step, once you hit print, the toner starts turning and stirring in the hopper. And it's right going to be down here. These are the screws. And this blue strip, which many of you have been asking about, that is the auto seal. And when this rotates around, it'll flip that seal off, and that seal continues to flap around, and it mixes the toner. Okay? So you've got not only this one, but that one mixes around. So the toner starts moving around in the cartridge, and it starts to charge, but not main charge. First, we get ready to prep the, the primary charge roller preps the OPC drum. What it does is it wipes it clean with a negative electric charge. It prepares it for the laser to create a latent image. Okay. Now, the laser is exposing. Now let's consider, when you think about it, if we wanted to do 5% page coverage on one toner cartridge, how many times do you think the laser would hit the OPC? Wild guess. Two tickets to Tahiti. It's it's millions, just put it that way. One, one million, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> one point five million year winner. <laughs> one point five million times. You multiply that by four, that's six million times in color cartridge, all at the same time. They're all moving speed. This just gives you this scope of how fast, how precise everything has to be when you consider getting a, a, a toner on the page. Okay, after the laser exposure, I've got to delay a little bit. When the toner charging, this is where the primary charge happens. With the RS roller, it moves toner onto the developer. And there's this Dr. Blade on the developer who rubs the toner and it's creating the tribal charging. Okay, so tribal charging is like the static electricity that you get from walking on the carpet and touching somebody. 
okay? Or combing your hair and it all of a sudden gets frizzy. Or this morning, my clothes were sticking to me. I had so much static. So there, it's basically too dissimilar uh, material to get together and they cre create that static charge. And that's what's happening here. It's very simple, like a balloon on your head. It's simple. Okay, and then as we move on, we get the development. And the development is where the toner moves from the developer roller over the OPC. And it's attracted to those areas that the laser hit. So the, the toner is more negative and the laser hit areas are more positive. Last one, transfer. It transfers from the OPC to the belt. And then it moves on its way to the fuser and then the clean, the OPC gets clean. Okay, that's the overall evening process. Now I'm going to show you the video that we created that will kind of give you this in a more sexy way than I did. The legendary HP Wizard. There are over 60 million out there. To see what makes them so reliable, you have to look deep into the original HP toner cartridge. That's where up to 70% of the science is. Come on inside. HP printing science starts with the little things, with over a trillion toner particles, one twelfth the width of a human hair. The scale is tiny, but the effects are huge. HP achieves an amazing consistency of size, shape, and performance by growing particles beyond wax cores, adding a soft color layer and durable color shell. What creates the sharpest prints? Consistent toner particles guided by a laser. Where the beam hits the photosensitive drum, it changes the static electric charge, and the charged HP toner particles fall. But color requires more than one cartridge. Yellow, magenta, cyan, and black must come together seamlessly at top printer speeds to do the job. So that you get the quality you pay for and avoid potential problems, HP microchips detect counterfeit cartridges. HP chips also adjust the static electric charge and laser intensity throughout the life of your cartridge as the drum and other parts wear. At every step, HP science is on your side. HP toner, with its consistently low melt point, needs less time and energy to fuse to the paper. The result, fast, high quality printing and lower energy costs for you. As you can see, there's a lot going on inside an HP laser jet toner cartridge. A trillion particles orchestrated perfectly. Four colors blended brilliantly. Integrated components working in harmony. That's the science inside every original HP toner cartridge. Science that works day after day, year after year, from the first page to the last.